With the midterms fast approaching, Democrats are working hard to keep control of the House of Representatives. But to do so, the battle isn't only against Republicans. Within the party, progressives are taking on moderates in a number of key primary races. One of those is in Texas's 28th congressional district, where conservative Democrat Henry Cuellar, the nine-term incumbent, grapples with the fallout of an FBI raid on his home last week. Joining us now with more is NBC News senior Capitol Hill correspondent Garrett Hake. Garrett, explain what is going on here. Mika, I spent the weekend down in Texas covering this race. Texas has the first primaries, and this race in the 28th is going to be one of the most interesting. It pits young versus old, a former intern against her former boss, uh, progress trying to rally the energy of that base to beat a more moderate conservative Democrat. Really everything you would look for in an exciting primary race. And that was before the FBI got involved. Stretching more than 150 miles from the border city of Laredo to southeast San Antonio, there's a lot of ground to cover for the candidates in Texas 28th Congressional District. I'm Jessica Cisneros. I'm running for Congress in the Democratic primary. But with a month to go until Election Day, an FBI investigation somehow related to a country 7,000 miles away could be the race's deciding factor. So I'm running against Henry Cuellar. You might have, you might have heard of him. He was in the news last week. Um, he was a member of Congress whose house got raided by the FBI. The January 19th raid of Congressman Cuellar's home and campaign office were part of a federal investigation relating to the nation of Azerbaijan. According to a senior law enforcement official, district voters have questions. We're a month away. The FBI raided Cuellar, and nobody still knows why. Had you heard about this FBI raid? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been, uh, it's been all over the news. Cuellar declined our interview request, but posted a lengthy video about the raid on his campaign's Twitter account. I'm fully cooperating with law enforcement and committed to ensuring that justice and the law is upheld. There is an ongoing investigation that will show that there was no wrongdoing on my part. I'm running for re-election, and I intend to win. The nine-term incumbent is a Texas institution, regularly outperforming statewide candidates as a moderate border district mainstay and a member of congressional leadership. But progressives see him as too conservative and out of touch with the modern party, pointing to his being the only Democratic vote against the Women's Health Protection Act last year. In his 2020 primary, immigration attorney and former Cuellar intern Jessica Cisneros fell three points short of victory. Now with more money, endorsements from national progressive leaders, and a reshaped district, she's trying again. How much of the work you're doing right now is just introducing yourself to people? A huge part of it is that, just because, I mean, we found out what the new maps were going to look like in November. This part of the district where we're in San Antonio, it's new to the district. Cisneros believes the pandemic has only proven the need for progressive policies like Medicare for All. But as the primary approaches, her biggest advantage may not be what she's for, but who she is not. It's always been Cuellar, so I want to give somebody else a chance to see what they can do. So this race may be shaping up as a referendum on Henry Cuellar as we await word of more information on that FBI raid. But I can tell you Republicans mm. are also watching this primary closely. They see a wounded Cuellar or maybe a progressive opponent as an opportunity to put a blue seat in play. But this district got even bluer in the latest redistricting down in Texas, Mika. NBC's Garrett Haig, thank you very much.